Hey there, friends. I want to give you guys a quick update on something that Gun Owners of America has discovered inside of some of the workings of what our politicians are trying to sneak into another bill in order to acquire additional funding for, guess what, gun control. A lot of people out there, some of the people that even watch some of these videos, are really prone to saying, oh, you're worrying about things that won't happen, while we actually watch these things taking place. Here's some of the things that Gun Owners of America have discovered, and we will be giving you full details in the coming days based on their reporting. This comes from a letter that they are sending to Speaker Pelosi, Majority Leader Hoyer, Majority Whip Clyburn, Minority Leader McCarthy, and Minority Whip Scalise. They have found that the Biden administration's ATF has requested a 13% budgetary increase, including 14.4% million dollars to modernize the National Tracing Center, which this is the actual branch that maintains accesses and searches ATF's digital searchable gun registries, the illegal ones. This funding increases by more than 40% the funding for the National Tracing Center. More specifically, this initiative to consolidate firearms tracing application through an e-trace modernization effort with enhanced data sharing capabilities will serve as a key building block in significantly improving the operational proficiency of the NTC division. They're not even shy about pointing this out. This data sharing technology will upgrade ATF's gun registry just in time for President Biden's promise ban on so-called assault weapons and the ATF's next major rule change, the Biden pistol ban. Guys, let's not forget that although we all know and recognize that Joe Biden has no control over what he actually says or does anymore, somebody else is pulling the strings, <coughs> Susan Rice, all of this stuff is very suspect because Biden continues to say the things that voters don't want. Voters have vehemently opposed all of these bans that he keeps talking about, yet he continues to push for those things, meaning that they are using him as pretty much a fall guy. They know that these are unpopular opinions, but they know they don't like Biden, and they know that they're willing to sacrifice Biden for the sake of getting these bills pushed through, because guess what? They push the bills through, they get their anti-gun bills passed, and Biden takes the fall, doesn't get reelected. They don't care. They don't want him to run again anyway. This is an easy way for them to get Biden out of the way, still accomplish officer gun control and blame him for everything and everybody else walks away scot-free on it totally unscathed guys i'm going to be doing a very very detailed video on this i just wanted to alert you guys to this right now in the coming days i'll have way way more so much more detail that you guys can dig into this i'll be breaking that bill down a lot of this information and language is not in there right now because committees are discussing these things so they're not in print as of yet although gun owners of america these guys, they dig all kinds of stuff up. Guys, that's why I'm so proud to be a part of them. That's why I'm so proud to be the state director in the, in the state of Louisiana for Gun Owners of America because they are the tip of the spear. Nothing against any of the other gun rights organizations out there, but Gun Owners of America, again, guys, they lead the charge. I have a link in the description down below. Not a link for anybody to make money. Not a link where I make money. I make zero dollars off of the link that I have in the description below. But guess what? you save money. If you want to sign up for the normally $25 plan, it's 20 bucks. You save five bucks. I don't pocket that money. I don't make a, a dime. That money helps Gun Owners of America continue to do the work that they're doing, file lawsuits, do investigation, do FOIA requests, do all the things that they do. Because let's face it, no one in the media is trustworthy anymore, except citizen journalists and people on YouTube that are doing what we do. And we're getting this information from our friends at Gun Owners of America and some other places too, of course. So if you got a little bit of change rolling around in the seat cushions or something like that, consider joining Gun Owners of America. Being a member for them helps everybody out. And believe me, it helps them continue to do things like this. I'm sorry, I thought this was America. Peace out,